Hello, my name is Lamont Norman. I'm on the Mapware product team, and I want to walk us through using the Mapware app. Begin by going to mapware.com and take us to this landing page here. And you can start using Mapware with our free trial capability. Uh, we'll click on one of these orange buttons and enter your contact information and email information, and then it'll give you a login. Once you've logged in, you will go to our projects page. Our projects page is <clears throat> the way we've organized the data within Mapware. And if you've done photogrammetry before, then you know that there can be a large number of files that are associated with each model. And then each model um, can have other data files that are associated with it as well. And so in what we've done is we put all that information into um, projects. And as you will see as we go through, we um, have allowed a great deal of flexibility and sharing within the projects. And that is the way that we're organizing the information that we have here in Mapware. On the um, left-hand side, you see the way that we manage and organize the projects. Um, at the top here, where there is a cre create project button. Uh, beneath the, the projects uh, item that I have highlighted here is a favorites. So as you get a large number of projects installed in Mapware, you can favorite some of them and then more quickly find them and locate them. Also beneath that is a processes <clears throat> item. So in, in processes, it shows all the processing done within your particular uh, account information, processes that are currently running, and where they are, um, details about each process, uh, as well as completed processes, as, and how long it took for each of those uh, processes to run. And then finally, I'll call your attention to the search option, which allows you to search through all that project information, uh, project data, and it searches through all artifacts, so all files that um, are in the projects get searched by a simple string search. And as you can see, I typed in Phoenix and it brought up all these different individual files that are available. And of course, the folders that are also available for that particular string. So if I go back up to projects and then come back over here to my account information, you see my name, the email I'm using, and then I can begin to uh, look at individual uh, features associated with my account. But if I click on Manage Profile, then I can begin to look at all of this all at once. Um, you can see how many teams that I'm a part of. And the teams are ways that we manage projects. So if you happen to have an organization that has um, 50 different uh, locations, each location could have their own team. And then uh, individuals from that team would be assigned various permissions. They could be people that create and manage and run models, and then people that also just view the models and, and uh, add additional information or just print out or, or share the models around. The nice thing also is that you can share uh, these models between teams so that if you're working in uh, one part of the country, uh, you can easily share uh, access to uh, an individual model with another team that's in another part of the country. So now that we've gone through that, uh, I wanted to bring up a specific model. So if I click on this Phoenix neighborhood model, you'll see that I actually have um, three individual models within this project. So. What we've added recently to Mapware is the ability to add multiple models. And we're working towards the process of, uh, towards the goal of adding, taking and using multiple models for comparison. So you could, for example, take a, a build a model that's from two years ago, and then a model that's a year ago, and then a model that is done today, and compare those differences. And that's what we're working towards um, in that in this process. So. You see three different models that are that are here. Um, each model has different data sets that are created for it. Uh, in this case, the sparse point cloud, the dense points cloud, the 3D actual 3D model, which I'll show in a minute, uh, the DSM and the ortho photo. 
You can see all this information. And you can also come up here and look at the processing that was done for this particular uh, project. And so we have all of these uh, models that have been added. And then finally, you can come over here and look at the images uh, that are part of this particular project. Each image is, is referenced in here um, and their, their locations are, are provided as well. So if I click on this particular image, you will see it bring up um, not only uh, the area where the image is located and the boundary and the information about the image, but also the actual image itself will come up for inspection um, as well. So there you can see the image, you can move it around, slide it around and so on. And you can go and grab the next image if you like um, and go through and see how that image uh, looks as well. So I'm gonna go back and we're back to our project, our Phoenix, our Phoenix Neighborhood Model Project. And uh, I'll also call your attention to the uh, data and file section. So not only do our projects store images for photogrammetry, but it also we also store other data files as well, such as text files, um, reporting files, and so on and so forth uh, that you might have associated with this particular project. And then finally, exports. Is all, are also being used uh, and stored here. So we have TIFF files, OBJ files, any exports that have been done uh, from the models are captured in this location. So let's open a model. So we'll take a look at um, all three of these models and we'll open a map actually. I'm gonna call it a map. If you click on open map, you will see all three models begin to render here. So, and what we have here is uh, the 3D model of the images that, that have been collected. And then I can turn that one off and then come down here and turn on the middle one. You can see that one is there. And then I can turn on the, the third one as well. And again, um, all these will be available uh, for, for you to use um, when we get the uh, full comparison capability um, added to the uh, added to Mapware. So I like to start with this orientation, this reset view. This gives you the original view and position for which um, the model has been set and, and created. And as I move around and take a look at it, um, I want to call your attention to some of the other things that are also available. Um, we're able to add uh, measurements. We've already added some measurements to this data here. You can see the measurements are in meters. If you come up over here to the settings section, you can change that to feet well and then uh, take a look at you know these these boundaries that or whatever measurements that have been have been collected and then you also have the ability to change the background color we have a black background color if I want to change that I can change that black uh, that background color to white as well and then here um, is the ability to change the quality of the data that is being rendered so this is very useful for uh, low internet scenarios or if you're in the field then you want to take a look at uh, the data but you don't have a lot of bandwidth to work with. Um, you can set this uh, to low setting and it will allow you to take a look at this data um, without using so much uh, bandwidth to get that information. We also want to show you something else. Uh, zoom out here and make use of our um, data collection information. So if we click on details, what you will see if I click on the image positions within details, these are all of the positions of the camera when um, a photo was taken for this particular collection. And then in addition to that, we can turn on the actual path of drone footage. 
uh, during the image collection. So we can see all of this um, looking at our, our 3D model and the, and the rendering of the 3D model. And finally, uh, turn these off. We can come over here to these last two buttons that are down here. The first one is a share button. And the share button enables you to share this specific, this specific model to other users um, that may not have a, a license to Mapware, or they may have a license to Mapware, um, but you can copy this link and share it. People can take a look at it. Um, they can pan and zoom. Uh, they, if they don't have a license, they can't edit it or, or, or do anything too much else with it, but they can uh, zoom around and take a look at the, at the model. Um, that you should decide to share. And then there's the export button. And the export button gives us the ability to export this data and pull it into existing uh, software applications that you may be working with. If you're generating a report and you have to get something in Word or create a PDF or add something to Excel or PowerPoint, um, you need an image. All of those things can be done or simply if you need to move this into another software tool. Um, exporting this data is something that we offer. So if we go up here to the top option, because uh, I'm talking about the top model, you can see all the different um, data formats that we can export. So if we export the ortho photo or the dense point cloud or the DSM, all those are uh, available. We select one and then we can export these as uh, TIFFs, JPEGs, PNGs, or PDFs. Uh, a great deal of flexibility there. Go ahead and if I export it, then it'll pick off a process that shows up in the processing tab that I showed you earlier. Now on this, back to this uh, left-hand side, um, here I talked about uh, setting up, uh, doing measurements. This is the tool that, that allows you to set up measurements. And then in here also is the is our settings that allow you to change the uh, units that we have and allow you to change the mouse behavior uh, from Earth, Earth or, or first person to orbit. We recommend orbit and um, that will give you the ability to uh, navigate through the data and, uh, and, and see what uh, areas that might be interesting uh, to you. The other uh, section that I'll go to is going back over here to the right hand side is clicking on the map side. This gives you a two dimensional version of the model. Um, seems like turn it back on, we'll see the, uh, the DSM of the area. And then um, I also can turn on the, the ortho photo of the area and different measurements. Um, are stored here and different uh, measurements can be done kind of in the 2D environment, but uh, you get the idea of uh, the extent of the uh, images that have all been stitched together and used to create the model and this ortho photo or digital surface map as well. We've got backgrounds that we can turn on. Uh, as uh, I'll turn off the measurements here, but we can turn on the the backgrounds from this dark uh, thematic map to a uh, traditional street thematic map, as well as a satellite uh, capability and uh, a terrain um, also its availability. And we can change that opacity as to, to our taste as we're looking to maybe generate an image um, and, and just investigate the data. This, of course, is collapsible, so it's very easy to go ahead and do screen captures of this particular of this information and um, add this into your reports. And that concludes the uh, tour of uh, the Mapware app. Thank you very much.